Hi, I'm Steve Barreen, owner and founder of Prosperian Financial Advisors. Welcome to this edition of Prosper On. With markets at all-time highs, is now really a good time to invest? Well, that's a fair question and one that we've heard a lot lately with the Dow and the S&P averages continuing to hit new record territory. Our little bull market's eight years old. That's about third grade, isn't it? And aren't we then due for some sort of a correction? Maybe, maybe not. Our crystal ball, you see, is broken. And our friends in the compliance department like to remind us that past performance is not indicative of future results. So looking out at the world today, I'm pretty optimistic about what I see in the marketplace. Combine this positive perspective with a steady approach to investing and a healthy understanding of volatility. And our belief continues to be one of consistent habits and one of a calm attitude. We believe that will yield success. So, repeat after me. Volatility is good. Volatility is normal. And volatility is what keeps the markets moving. And a moving market creates opportunities and growth. As investors, we tend to turn a blind eye when the markets are rising and when volatility is positive. I mean, after all, portfolios are increasing. What's the issue? But we become hypersensitive, hyper aware when volatility is negative and going the other direction. Well, there's one thing that we know, and that is negative volatility is always temporary and asset prices eventually move higher. Even if we take a more limited view, say for instance, intra-year volatility, it's very normal. Take a look at this chart. So it demonstrates that typical market corrections or market downturns every year going back to 1980. So for the past 36 years. Notice the orange bars that represent the low that the market hit during a calendar year. And then take a look at the blue bars. That's how the markets finished for each year. So what do we conclude? Well, the path to a positive return is never a straight one. On average, Years typically have an intra-year correction in the neighborhood of 14%. But look at the last 36 years. That's yielded a positive return of about 11%. So who really cares what, if the market drops 20% in February and then rebounds 20% in, in September? The only people that are affected by that are the ones that jump out when things get going rough and then jump back in when things look good. Well, congratulations you've just lost 30 to 40 percent. In sports, timing is everything. In investing, it is the same. And trying to time the market is like trying to catch a ball with your face. There are always those negative thoughts that investors have, like, you know, things are kind of crazy. So let's pull out and wait for the markets to calm down. Or let's just wait till prices drop and then I'm gonna back up the truck and buy as much as I can. Or I have a hunch we're in for some trouble. I just know it. It's this nagging feeling. And things look bad in the news today. You know the problem with those approaches? They're all driven by one thing, emotion. And emotion is a killer. So let's do a little role play. Stock prices are wiggling and the investors decided to switch to cash. Then stock prices go up. Whoops, shouldn't have sold. Or they went down. Whoops, smart move. Now investors have to decide when to buy back in again. And you know, the siren song of a positive price movement is really paradoxical. Investors have to wait till things look good. That makes sense. And then you realize that the investor literally is selling low and buying high. And when you repeat that cycle, it's a surefire way to destroy your net worth. Wise investors understand that negative volatility is not only necessary, but it's healthy and it's good. In fact, with a consistent investment strategy, you combine negative volatility, you're buying assets when they're on sale. Now I know what you're thinking. Let's just wait until there's this big sale and then we'll buy as much as we can. But that approach is equally flawed. Why? Because it's based on a guess. And guessing is one of those emotionally driven responses. So, another example. If bread is 50 cents off at the grocery store, 
that's a nice little sale. But you know, I think it's going to be cheaper next week. Maybe a dollar off. Not bad. And maybe I'll wait a third week and wait till prices are even lower. However, that third week, prices are back up to the normal level. So your family now is starving because you're trying to time the purchase of bread? Does not make sense. You wouldn't do that. Why do people do that with their money? Consistency is a key, and keeping calm is a key. Keeping perspective is a key. There are many wonderful things that are happening in the world today that cause me to be very optimistic. So many factors contribute to long-term growth and long-term prosperity in our country, in our world, our society, and frankly, your potential. This is what we tend to focus on, and we encourage you to do the same. So, if you know of someone who's looking for wisdom in their financial advice, feel free to forward this video to them. Thank you for being a client of Prosperian Financial Advisors. I'm Steve Bereen.